Hello again everyone, well, uh, I'll just move this a little bit where I can come, see if I can get a little bit nearer. I don't want to get too near, uh, so you won't be seeing my head. I'll just do a quick one for you. It will be in the style of Edward Wesson. So here we go. Now I may have to use the, uh, the air dryer a little bit in this one because I'll be continually filming so here we go uh, I'll use a, a mop brush and start with the sky and we'll use a light colour and I, I will be using a little bit of uh, ultramarine I'm just lining it up a bit with another colour, a bit of a cerulean or something like that. Now, uh, that's it. Now, I'm just uh, working on dry, dry and dry. Now, just taking the edges off quickly as you can. So that if you are going to come in with another colour, it won't uh, won't be too bad. You see, not used to taking those edges off a little bit. But, uh, so a little bit more blue. mustn't do too much because he, this one is uh, in the style of Mr. Wesson would say but he didn't use a lot of uh, blues and colours in the sky now this is a, just a little bit of a light a bit of sort of yellow Just a touch of raw sienna. Now we're bringing a nice low, just a nice low uh, horizon line. But that won't matter because of a bit raising. When you, uh, if you do have sometimes a low horizon line, by putting your trees, you lift your trees up, on the, 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 you're covering this side, you're beginning to put more in the bottom half with your trees so it balances it, it balances things out a little bit okay you, so put a little bit of yellow into that We'll stay on that line. Now we'll put a, a, a line a bit over there. So we'll just see how is it for. No, oh, it's, it's not going near dry. So I'm just going to. Just uh, do a little bit of this. And I'll talk right there. While I do this with the air dryer. I have to get a quieter air dryer, I think, eh? Something like that, eh? Okay, here we go again. Now I'm just mixing a little blue this time. I'm going to add a little bit of the old uh, laser in crimson. Oh, we'll, we'll just have a low, low light. Let's put it a little bit weaker. That's a do that. There we are. 
Uh, leave this area here, here, because we'll need that area. No. We'll just let that dry a minute. I don't know if I can see. Now, I know that I've got a cottage here. Now this, a cottage. I'm going to give it an unusual roof. So we'll have a, it's a bit dry, I'm getting it straight, not wet the brush. So the, if we have a cottage, Oh, a pretty long cottage like this, say. Eh? Long roof. On there, and along here, say. Eh? And we, uh, put an outbill in the full length of it, eh? like that, hmm? for a change. Now we can bring some a lighter green in across here. So if you use scad yellow you get a lighter green with your cobalt and you get a much lighter green. So we will put that lighter green in. Choose this again, oh yeah. The shading of the grass. Stop a bit more. Now we need a really dark green now, so we we'll put a really dark green in here. So we can use the ultramarine. Umber. A little bit of yellow to bring the dark into it. We'll just try this now, see how dark it is. Now we want a full filling in. Got rough edges. And the sensor fill.
the edge is just a little bit of showing. That's it, just the edges. I'm looking for a solid centre here. There we are again, we have the other one here. Well, I'm not speaking much, I'm sorry. Just uh, doing a bit of concentrating, really, on painting. OK. 
Okay. I have to just try and stretch my legs a bit. I'm just getting a little bit cramped. Okay, sit down again for a minute. Brushes go hard again. Painting them. Now I'm going to try and uh, recall the bristles back. Okay, let's have a see what we can do now. We're just, uh, uh, we need a not much. Just a
going to leave it at that. And that's it. Alright then.